Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to make some lovely custard biscuits. We are going to use the basic biscuit recipe that we showed three years back. This time around, we're going to have a few changes. For my ingredients, I need this is three quarter cup of icing sugar that I served. I am using 250 gram of salted butter. That's the reason why I will leave the pinch of salt out. I'm also going to use a teaspoon of vanilla essence and two cups of flour that I served and quarter cup of mazina also served and half a cup of custard powder I also served. I am going to get started off by creaming my butter with my icing sugar. To my icing sugar I'm going to add in my butter and also I'm going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla essence I'm going to use my mixer to cream this butter quickly. Here you go. You can see the butter and the icing sugar with the vanilla essence as creamed together. To my flour, I'm going to add in my mazina and also my custard powder. I'll give this a nice mix. And thereafter, I am ready to put my flour into my butter. I will fold in my flour into my cream butter and sugar. Now I'm going to use my hand to form a soft dough. Here's my dough. It's all done. Now I'm just going to Clean wrap the dough and let it to rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I am going to preheat my oven to 160 degrees. After my 10 minutes, when I undone my dough, I see there were little cracks forming that goes to show the flour has dried up the dough so I added in another two tablespoon of oil and I gave it another quick dough so it rested for another 10 minutes and you can see it's looking nice and smooth but if your dough for some reason went a little soft so you can let it rest in your fridge. You may have to adjust your dough depending on the flour you use or the mazina or the custard powder. There's different makes at time. Now my dough is ready to be made into biscuits. Here I have my oven tray that I used, spray and cook. And I also caught this nozzle and I also spray and cooked my nozzle. I am going to break a portion I take this piece of dough and stuff it in my nozzle and I will press my dough into the baking tray. I 
and I will continue in this manner till my baking tray is full. If you have a nozzle like this, you can also make the finger biscuits using the same dough, but ours is slightly smaller and it makes the biscuit too thin and it doesn't allow much time in the oven. So we tried to find a bigger nozzle and we haven't found one. Unfortunately, we went shopping and we couldn't find a bigger nozzle. I've got my first tray of biscuits ready for the oven. I am just going to decorate it by using some hundred and thousands. So you can also use the decoration of your choice. This is ready to be popped into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes, but we'll check. Eighteen minutes has passed and my biscuits are done in the oven. So I'm ready to just take my biscuits out of the oven. Yeah, you can see how nice and beautiful it's looking. You must adjust your time for your oven and check along the way. Now I am ready to put my next batch in. All in all, I managed to get four dozen of my biscuits. With my next batch, which is in the oven now, I will allow this to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes, then I am ready to serve. Here you go, another lovely, simple biscuit recipe to add to your Diwali list. This is a firm favorite in our household. In fact, it's not only just made for Diwali, you can make it any time throughout the year and everyone definitely enjoys it. I hope you'll give this a try and enjoy. Thank you all very much for watching.